The Ministry of Health has found that many of the recent cases were transmitted during social activities and gatherings among our seniors. Many of them participate in singing classes and other activities uh, such as qigong, line dancing and others at the various community clubs and residence committees uh, venues. They are active agers who frequently participate in such group activities and they also join multiple groups across different venues in Singapore. We want to encourage seniors to be active, um, but there's now evidence of COVID-19 transmission among the seniors participating in such social activities because some individuals who were unwell had continued to participate in them. The Ministry of Health and previously announced, had already previously announced precautionary measures for this group which had been in implemented since the weekend. Seniors are a particularly vulnerable group. We want to protect them, and we will therefore introduce additional targeted social distancing measures for seniors. I'll ask uh, the PA uh, Chief Executive Director, Mr. Desmond Tan, to elaborate later. Let me just uh, say that the multi-ministry task force is now also assessing the situation locally as well as globally, and is studying a broader range of social distancing measures that we might take to help further slow down the spread of the virus. Minister Lawrence Wong will later on elaborate on this. We have been encouraging Singaporeans, uh, regardless of age, to practice good personal hygiene and to be socially responsible. But I'm very concerned that many of the locally transmitted cases resulted from the socially irresponsible actions of a few individuals who continue to go to work, attend events and participate in activities despite being unwell, and went on to spread the disease to others, including their family members, friends, as well as close contacts. For example, 35 of the 160 confirmed cases had not taken steps to minimize social contacts although they had already developed fever or respiratory symptoms, or consulted a doctor even. More than a fifth of the confirmed cases continued to work or carried on with their daily routine despite being sick. Such behavior was seen in a few of our local clusters, for example, the cluster at Wiesland Technologies, Private Limited, which had 14 confirmed cases. Of these, three of them had continued with their daily activities despite being unwell. One of the contacts had also carried on with uh, daily activities while symptomatic. This in turn resulted in an additional cases who were not employees of the company. Of the confirmed cases linked to the private di uh, dinner function at Safra, Jurong on 15 February, one case was already unwell, had attended the function on 15 February and subsequently tested positive. This could have resulted in 18 additional cases who were also at the dinner and, the subsequent, and subsequently tested positive. Ten of these 18 cases continued with daily activities despite feeling unwell, resulting in an additional 17 positive cases who had not been at the function. We also urged the public to refrain from doctor hopping so that the same doctor can follow up with each case and make the appropriate assessment if a case needs to be tested for COVID-19. One of the confirmed cases, of the confirmed cases, 38 had visited more than one GP clinics. Now that amounts to about 24%. And among these 38 patients, eight had visited three or more GP clinics. This socially irresponsible behavior poses a risk to all of us. The measures we have implemented will only work if individuals cooperate and behave in a socially responsible manner. So please work together with us so that we can keep our family and loved ones safe. 